The 2016 candidate Bernie Sanders has been working hard on his radical campaign during the past year. Bernie is a democratic socialist and has successfully packed full, full arenas and meeting halls all over the nation. Sanders is also well known for his unique methods of campaign which have definitely made his campaign revolutionary. He's also a great public speaker and always addresses a variety of group ages and races. His speeches are heavy on facts in which he mostly talks about wealth, inequality, marijuana, arrest rates, and many other issues. Bernie Sanders connects to the Cold War, primarily Karl Marx. For voters who lived through the Cold War, the term socialist is related to the event of the assassination of the Russian Tsar and his family in the early 20th century. It is also related to the Soviet premier in the 1960s, a standoff with President John F. Kennedy over missiles in Cuba. Historians explain the vast spectrum between the two systems at their most ideological. A democratic socialist such as Bernie Sanders might aspire to the ideals of Karl Marx. On the other hand, Bernie might behave more like the democratic president Franklin D. Roosevelt, who steered the U.S. through the Great Depression by introducing new ideas and opportunities. Truly understanding the underlying principles of capitalism and socialism enables us to see how Bernie Sanders is similar yet different from other socialists such as Karl Marx. <laughs> Bernie Sanders wants a political revolution in the sense that he wants all people in the USA to have tr a truly equal say in matters of government. This, he doesn't want the wealthy to have a monopoly on politicians' times and wishes for the top 1% to be taken down a peg. This is why he is compared with Franklin D. Roosevelt as well. History definitely continues to repeat itself in the sense that leaders with similar ideologies continue to represent the United States. It is crucial that we truly comprehend the, the ideologies and views of the candidates in order to make good choices and know what we stand for and who we will vote for to represent our country. Thank you.